evidence. They're not a substitute for evidence. Uh, they are the parties uh, telling you or arguing to you what they believe the evidence means. So with that, we will now present those arguments to you. Thank you. As I mentioned yesterday, um, my, myself and my colleague Adam Miller, we stand before you uh, with clear consciousness. I wanted to start out with a quote from my friend Nate Larson. He says, when we behave ethically, we, do, we should do so confidently. And that's how I feel like um, myself and Adam have conducted ourselves through this uh, over a year long proceeding since we were uh, justly arrested and uh, charged with a number of offenses. And as we do, as I hope each of you would do, if ordered by someone else, uh, you on yourself. So if ordered by someone else to do something, if, if you don't want to do it, I hope you would question it. And that's what we did that day. We simply asked the question, show us the policy. That they weren't able to do that, and so they, and since they continued to be unable to do that, they resorted to force, and they put us in handcuffs, brought us to a cage for the night, and you have since, um, the, the number of charges, which you may remember yesterday on our criminal complaints, were at one time this long, and are now this long. Yeah, they said it's the same. So I'll end with one quote from someone you all probably know of, physicist named Albert Einstein. He said, never do anything against conscience, even if the state demands it. So I ask each of you to, to think about the evidence presented to you, uh, think about what's right and wrong, and who were the aggressors that day, and do what you know is right and find the same thing. I like a lot of what Pete says. I mean, I got some notes here, but whatever. I think the video speaks for itself. I think we all see what went on that day. There's a lot that's happened in this last year that you guys haven't gotten to see, like my colleague was uh, leading to. Um, basically, what we have now is just a play of words, a mix up of who wants to take the blame for this. Some people are afraid they're going to be sued after this because of what they've done. Yeah. It's a and so, everything is, is, is caught on video. Mistakes were made. And you heard the officers in the testimony yesterday. They all knew they were being recorded. If there was no reason to be not film, as was stated at the trial with the evidence, there's no reason that we should have been asked to leave, which means there's no reason we should have been outside, which means there's no reason for trespass, there's no reason for initial arrest, there's no reason for resisting, there's no reason for us being here. But we have to justify it somehow. So we're going to talk about whether secretive is a matter or if I willfully did whatever. But all I ask is you guys look at the video and think, does anybody need to be punished under any circumstances for what happened that day? And I hope you just hold the conscience as opposed to plays on words and put some words on tape So I appreciate your time. Thank you. When you started this case, you only knew a brief background of what happened. And you saw a video prior to knowing much about this case at all, since you knew that somebody had been recording. And I ask you to take yourself back to when you first watched that video. At that point, you knew nothing about a recorded conversation. You knew nothing about a third party. Now, they are trying to convince you that the recording and that third person hearing it wasn't in secret. So I ask you to take yourself back when you watched the video. As you watched the video, were you aware of that recording of that person hearing that conversation? If you weren't, then that was in secret, wasn't it? You watched the same thing that Sergeant Dogg saw. You watched the same thing that the House of Correction people saw. At the time you watched it, did you know that we were going to be playing that tape for you afterwards? Did you know that somebody other than the people present was listening to that conversation? Because you're going to hear those gentlemen, that's what the statute forbids. And that's why I'm asking you to find Mr. Mueller guilty of wiretapping. With Mr. Ayer, Mr. Ayer didn't do the recording. He didn't insist correctly. You're going to hear what it means to be a joint venture. I'm asking you to find him guilty based on a joint venture with the strategy of Sergeant Dodge, taking his attention away from the cell phone. Is he aware, as it, were you aware at the time that cell phone came out that it was going to a third person? As to the resisting arrest, you can watch the video. I'm not here saying that Mr. Mueller swung at the officers, that he punched the officers, that he ran from the officers. When he went to get arrested, you can see in the video. One hand goes back, he twists, takes the other hand away, dropping to his knees. Is that using physical force in opposition to an arrest? I leave it to you. You saw the video. Make this at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that's the case. You've got the video, you've seen the evidence. There's not much I can argue to you. I'm asking if I'm the defendant's guilty based on what you've seen, based on the application of the law. Thank you. All right.
Thank you. <laughs> Members of the jury, you are about to begin your final duty, which is to decide the fact issues in this case. Sergeant Peter Ayer with unlawful wiretap. What is your verdict? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Pete. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Did you get that good? We didn't hurt anybody, so. The truth shall prevail, man. I did. For once. But that would have been brought up. Yeah, we pretty much we pretty much threw out the testimony of uh, Dodge, I think his name was. Right. Because you got him to admit that he was either wrong or he lied on right. at least two occasions, I guess. A lot of the sidebars were about uh, secretive or willful, you know? And Yeah, you know, the, the secretive part, um, you had the cell phone in your hand the whole time, but I was stuck with the secretive part because you had a camcorder in your hand, and that's that's audio anyway. Right, that's what I was saying. Like, your that, voice that, is, can only be one? intercepted once. Yeah, exactly. And once exactly. it was intercepted, I wanted to make the point that it didn't matter if I had a million recorders in my backpack. The other thing that's going on. Heard the good news. Yeah. I didn't want to waste y'all's time. I felt like they've been wasting our time for a while. And it's good to have us. Good to have us with you. Nice. Can I get a photo of the two of you? Can I get a photo of the two of you, please? If I can ever do anything for you, man, let me know. Watch if anybody wants to jump in. Here we go. One, two. Hey, um... I want to live stream an announcement. People are waiting awesome. uh, on yeah, the interwebs. You want to get a bunch of... Maybe in front of Marvin? Jay, maybe some of the supporters want to stand in front of Marvin. And we'll stand in front of him. All right, guys, it's uh, Damo and Pete here. We just got the uh, verdict, and there were not guilties all around. Pete and I both of wiretapping and myself of resisting arrest. So, so what does everybody think about the verdict? Yeah. yeah. A bunch of lawyers, you know, even the uh, you know folks who work for the state, the bailiffs, all wished us luck earlier today, and I think we did a good job, and the evidence spoke for itself, and you know having everybody here was made a huge difference, you know, for us and for everybody, everybody who was on the jury, I think. So hopefully, you know, if you're watching at home and you've uh, you know you feel alone, look at look at all the folks that'll support you if you stand up for what's right. Yep. yep. And much love, uh, freekeen.com and nevertakeaplea.org for uh, the help this week. Keeping food in our bellies and whatnot. Right. Tally TV for covering the uh, yep. court events Woo! and all the great folks Bo, Hunter, who came out. Everybody, yeah. everybody. So Donnie and Anna for being on the street, hustling and getting the word out in town. Here we got a lot of good folks out. So thanks. Awesome. Uh, yeah. All right, who wants to give these guys a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I need to fly a couple. <laughs> 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 <laughs>